guys today we'll continue celebrating black history or African American History Month and today I wanted to talk to you about the word racism racism means to discriminate someone based on race racism hurts people for example when you look at a person and decide not to play with them just because of their color of their skin that is called racism how does that make you feel imagine somebody is not willing to play with you just because of how you look on the outside that might make you feel angry that might make you feel sad that might make you feel disappointed racism is not good to do so remember that we are all human beings no matter how we look on the outside we are all beautiful we need to be kind and respectful to others if you ever see or hear someone using racism because they are judging someone based on the color of their skin try to stop it and if you need help be sure to tell an adult it is up to all of us to stop racism because remember that we are all unique and special and we are all a team be sure to be proud of yourself because everybody is special in the inside and on the outside we always need to stick together because we are all a family today we will continue our creation inspired by the artist elizabeth catlett so let's go ahead and start to get started on the surface of our artwork you should have this from last time and what you are going to do is make sure you have an old piece of paper that you can put underneath so that your desk or your table will not get ruined and you are going to take a black crayon and you are actually going to color this whole thing with a black crayon now if yours looks like they, it has some patches of white be sure to go back and clean that up there should be no patches of white on your paper so that way this crayon can go on top and it can actually work at home if you have this tempera paint you can also use this to paint over it and it will give it the same effect but I wanted to show you crayons because most of us have crayons at home so let's go ahead and get started now at this point you may think you're done but actually you have to go back again and make sure that you go the opposite way so that it gets as dark as you can be sure that your paper is dark and it doesn't show any of the colors from underneath Alright guys, so this is how our surface should look like after it is done. So make sure that you do this and that you go back and color in any of the spaces where you see the color peeking through. Now we are not done for today. The next part is to create our drawing, our sketch of what we are actually going to be putting onto our scratch board the next time we come. So we are going to be making a sketch and we are going to use a composition. Composition means the arrangements of visual elements in an image. It helps us emphasize the subject, mood, or action of an image so that it is both easily understood as well as aesthetically pleasing to the viewer. Think about the month that we are celebrating, Black History Month, and think about what you want to represent in your image. I want to represent unity, so I am going to have a little girl holding different balloons that are going to be heart-shaped balloons to show my love and appreciation for Black History Month. So I have to think of this little girl and where I am going to draw her. If I draw her at the top and the balloons at the bottom, that composition would not be good because it would not be easy to understand. But if I draw the little girl at the bottom and the balloons towards the top, that composition would be easier to understand because now it makes sense. So when I start drawing the little girl, 
I am going to do a simple drawing of the little girl. And it can be stick figures and it can be anything else that you want to draw. Alright, so I drew my little girl and now I want to draw the balloons. So whenever I draw the balloons, I have to think of my composition. If I draw the balloons too small, that will not be pleasing to the eye. So we want to make sure that whenever we draw, it makes sense. So I'm going to start drawing maybe small balloons and maybe another size of balloon on the other side when it's flying upwards. Maybe I want a bigger balloon over here. Think about where you want to put this visual element. All right guys, so I made my balloons here, but there are two in the middle of the page. So what I want to do is have some balloons coming off of the page so that I can make my composition more realistic. There we go. Now it seems like these balloons are going out into the outside. So you want to do that. You want to give the viewer a sense of magic and think what will happen if the balloon goes outside of the page. Now that we did that, we are done. We drew our composition. And next time when we come back, we are actually going to be transferring this composition onto the page. So be sure to show me what you have created. Your drawing and my drawing are going to be different, but be sure to have a composition that makes sense and one that helps the viewer look at it as everything unified. All right? I'll see you next time, guys. And as always, remember to be kind and respectful to other people and to keep celebrating Black History Month. See you soon.